Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Rob Trick where I try to answer your questions from the comments sections in my videos and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them and if you find these videos helpful consider buying me a coffee or making a donation in the links below because they are greatly appreciated and they help me to continue making videos like this. All right so the first question here is from uh, Chevy Power to Go and he says Rob how to change the display settings info like you have on the screen below in yellow showing your f-stop is there any other menu tab color, separate color for special most used menu tab slash pages? Okay, uh, the short answer is no. There's no way to change like line items in your menu to different colors. And um, also the yellow that you're seeing like on the live view for f-stop, it's just indicating uh, settings that you can change using one of the dials on the top of the camera. So let me show you on my camera what I'm talking about. All right, so this is my EM5 Mark III, and what I'm going to show you is pretty universal across all the Olympus cameras. Uh, but right now I am in auto mode, and you can see there's really nothing yellow on the screen. Uh, and that's because there's nothing I can change, no settings I can change. The camera's doing everything. But when I go into program mode, you'll see that exposure compensation now comes up uh, in yellow, because this is a setting I can change via the front dial in this case. So anytime you see something in yellow, that means that is a setting you can change via one of the dials on top of the camera. Uh, so I can change exposure comp, just rotating the front dial in this case. And then when I go into aperture priority, uh, you'll see that the f-stop is now in yellow as well as exposure comp. So rotating the front and rear dials, it's gonna change exposure comp and the rear dial We'll exchange uh, or change the aperture. And then going in the shutter priority, uh, now you can see shutter mode or shutter speed is now in yellow as well as exposure comp. And if I go into manual mode, I have both shutter speed and aperture in yellow. And again, these are changes I can make via the um, top dials on the camera. All right, and here's my OM1. And as you can see, I'm in shutter priority. So my shutter speed and my exposure comp are in yellow, but the OM1 also has a little wheel icon just above the shutter speed to tell me that the rear dial controls shutter, shutter speed and the front dial controls exposure comp. Okay, next question here is from uh, Mark Baumgartner, a frequent uh, visitor to my Ask Rob Trek uh, videos. Uh, it says, hey Rob, one more question. How do you turn on the OM1 high speed uh, flash sync? Will it work with the Godox 300 off camera using the Pro Trigger? I saw one of your videos that was older, and I've looked at the manual, and I'm still lost. Okay, it's very, very simple. Let me show you. All right, so I have my uh, 8200 here and the uh, X-Pro trigger. And right now, I have the camera in manual mode. And you can see that the max sync speed is set to 1 2 50th, right? And you want to be able to put the camera into high-speed sync mode. Well, it's automatic when you set the trigger to high-speed sync mode. So on the uh, X-Pro trigger... Uh, there is a sync button right here. So you push this button and you'll see this little icon up here pop up. It may be hard to see, but it, uh, it's a little lightning bolt with an H next to it. So this toggles high speed sync on and off. So when I turn this on, I can automatically start to go to faster shutter speed. So I'm in high speed sync. Now, when we look at the flash, flash also has a high speed sync button right here that you push and hold and it'll put the flash in a high speed sync mode. But you don't need to do that because the trigger will automatically uh, put the flash in a high speed sync mode. So I can turn this off. And again, I have this in high speed sync mode. So if I just take a picture, you can see that the uh, trigger put the flash in a high speed sync mode automatically. All right, and I say the trick is fun for last. And this is from Adrian Chu, and he says, Hi Rob, I would like to set BBF to lever 1 and normal shutter AF on lever 2. I'm able to do it. Am I missing something as I did manage to do this on my previous EM1 Mark II? So as we all know, the OM1 now has a new menu system. And, and honestly, it's pretty much the same except now that it's horizontal with some color and icons instead of uh, vertical. Uh, but there actually was a pretty significant change to the combination of settings that we need to make this happen. Now, in the end... It's going to work exactly the same as your EM1 Mark II did, uh, but not exactly the way you're asking the question here. Uh, because it, it'll be easier to show you than to try to explain it, um, but it will work. It'll work. 
let me show you. So basically what Adrian wants to do is when the lever is in position one, he wants to just push the AF on button for focusing and disable the half pressed shutter button autofocus so that all the shutter button now is, does now is take a picture without autofocusing. So we have true back button focus. And that's pretty straightforward to do. You just go into the menu, you go into the AF menu, and you scroll down here, and you turn off SAF no, and CAF uh, tracking, etc. to no. So when you set this to no, uh, basically the shutter button autofocus is disabled, and you can only autofocus using this. And then when you put the position into, or put the lever into position two, he wants to be able to half press the shutter button and autofocus again. But the problem is there's no way to link the lever position to the shutter button, right? Because if we go into the menu and we go over to the operations menu, go down to function lever, you can see that we have off mode one uh, just changes the dial functions. Mode two, which is a default setting, will change the AF mode and AF target point. And mode three will change the photo mode to movie mode from position one to two, and that's it. But let's leave this on mode two, and then let's go back to the AF menu, because we can accomplish what you want to accomplish in a roundabout way. Oops, all right, so there's the AF menu. Let's go down here to half press, and what we're going to do is we're going to leave S-AF to yes, and we're going to change C-AF to no. Now, for lever position one, we're going to set this to CAF, and for lever position two, we're going to set this to SAF. So we've tied, because we know that the uh, AF target mode or AF uh, mode is tied to the shutter button, but the lever's not. So we're going to change the operation of the shutter button regardless of the lever position, right? So we're going to go into position one. Now CF, the, the shutter button's disabled, right? Because that's what we did in the menu. CF, no, on the half press. However, the back button, the AF on button, will still focus the camera. And if we go into position two, we're now in SAF, and now half pressing the shutter button will focus the camera, as well as the AF on button. Both of these work now. And this is actually exactly how the EM1 Mark II worked, as well as, you know, other cameras. Okay, here's my EM5 Mark III, and this is functionally the same as the EM1 Mark II and many other Olympus cameras that have this particular menu system. So let's, um, let's go in the Super Control Panel and set position 1 to CAF and position 2 to SAF. Okay. And then let's check the uh, function lever. Um, let's see, function lever, it's in the button menu. As you can see, we have the same modes here. We have off, we have mode one, which is dial function only. We have mode two, the default setting, which is AF target mode and AF uh, mode. And then mode three, which is, you know, photo mode or movie mode. So we're gonna put it in mode two, just like we did on the OM1. And then we're going to go to, uh, what is it? We need to go back to the AF menu. And we need to go into the ALAF button here. So here's where we can link the shutter mode or AF mode to the shutter button. So for SAF, and this is where it's very different, right? It's more convoluted. The OM1 is actually more straightforward. But... We have mode one where half pressing the shutter button will autofocus and SAF. We have mode two, which is autofocus SAF without the exposure lock, because exposure lock is now going to be linked to the back button here. Mode three, where half pressing is exposure lock only, but now the ALAF button is now the autofocus button. And then it cycles back to mode one. So we want to set this to mode three. I think. Let me think. Uh, actually, we want to set this to mode 1 to, to make it identical to what I said on the OM1. Okay, now let's go into uh, CAF. And CAF has a mode 2, 
a mode three where the half press is the exposure lock and then the back button is focused but we also have a mode four where half press is fully disabled and exposure lock focus and everything is tied to the shutter button the autofocus lock but the autofocus start is the back button and this is actually the default setting on the om1 is mode four but on the om1 they have a separate menu for auto exposure lock um, in the exposure uh, metering section uh, let me see if i can just show you that real quick if you go to yeah uh let's see yeah metering page five they have a half press button here for a single uh autofocus or all focus modes or just off completely so we're going to just set this to mode four because that's the default setting on the om1 but give that some thought when you're setting up this uh, particular camera and now we're effectively set up the same way as the om1 right so i'm in position one I can half press the shutter button and all it's, it's not going to do anything. There's no autofocus or anything going on. But if I push the uh, AFL button on the back, it will attempt to autofocus. And then if I put this in a position two, now half pressing the shutter button will attempt to autofocus. But the back button now is. AEL only or auto exposure lock only it will not try to focus so the buttons have completely switched basically so it's just a tiny bit different than the om1 because the om1 has a dedicated af on button and an ael button whereas on the previous models it was a combination button like this one and that's why it's completely separate when we have it in function lever position two versus the om1 so I know that may have been a little confusing, but uh, this is the overall logic, right? So when we have the lever in position one, we're gonna have the camera in CAF, and when we have the lever in position two, we're gonna have the camera in SAF. And then in the half press AF button menu, when we're in CAF, we're gonna have the half press off, and when we're in SAF, we're gonna have the half press on. So these settings here, are independent of these settings because they inter but they just happen to intersect on the autofocus mode uh, so like i said this is not directly linked to the shutter button but you can kind of get to it uh, because of this intersection and that is how you do it so that's all i have for today if you have any more questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them i'm always happy to help uh, all I ask is please be as specific as possible because a lot of times I have to kind of guess uh, what camera or lens you're talking about. But either way, I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon.